What is good, everybody? Man, it's your boy Jay in the building. We is back again with another video. All right, man. So this video, man, you already see the title. We have Morgan State's 2023 football recruiting class, man, and we are kicking things off with Christopher Boyd, man. So Christopher Boyd is an offensive lineman, 6'5", 360 pounds. Going to be an incoming freshman coming from Archbishop Correll High School, hometown Washington, D.C. Let's check him out for a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, the MEAC, man. Let's see what's, let's, uh, see what's going down. Hey, Morgan State got a lot of players uh, coming this year. Um, I think they are going to be pretty decent. They did... Um, they did some good things last year, so hopefully, you know, we we'll see them have a much better season this year. Okay, I'm about to say. All right. Mmm. Double team. Damn, 20 yards. Come on. Mmm. Mmm, nice. Come on. All right, man, next up, we have Kahari Finley, 6'6", uh, 285-pound offensive lineman. Going to be an incoming freshman coming from St. Francis Academy, hometown Clinton, Maryland. We're going to go ahead and check him out, man. Now, I'm going to tell you all this, man. There are a lot of offensive linemen uh, coming in this year. I think they have, like, seven. They have like seven offensive linemen coming in, so it's a lot of it's a lot of them this year. Check the big boys out. Where he at? Okay. He's on the right side. Hmm. Pancake. Oh, come on. Mm, another one. He's a tackle on the right side, y'all. So, okay. Man, next up we have Kelby Carter Jr., offensive lineman. 6'5", 300 pounds, uh, hometown Baltimore, Maryland. Going to be an incoming freshman coming from Dunbar High School. Let's get it going. Let's see him. Mm. Big boy. Uh-oh. Number six, don't, he better not be blitzing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out the way. I'm about to say, yeah, they ain't want no part to that. <laughs> they ain't want no part to that. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Hey, right, next up, we have Alphonse Menser, uh, offensive lineman, 6'4", 345, hometown Rockville, Maryland. He's going to be an incoming freshman coming from Walter Johnson High School. Let's check him out. On the right side. Okay. Nice score. Man, y'all, he's on a, uh, let's see. Big number 72. You see him pointing him out. Hmm, nice block. Okay. He's a tackle there. Old screen. Get him out the way. Okay. Nice block. Hmm. Next up, we have Xavier Dangerfield, a uh, wide receiver, 6'2", 195 pounds, uh, hometown, ooh, hometown Texarkana, Texas. Uh, he's going to be an incoming freshman coming from Texas High School. Let's see what he got. Okay. Mm, broken tackle there. Okay. It's a nice little big receiver he got. Oh, just throw it to him. 
Mmm. Mmm. Nice one handed. That's a nice one hander. I, I like that. Got him. Mmm. Nice little jump ball. I like that. Where you at? Left side. Okay. Top here. Deep ball. Mmm. Nice going down, too. Look like the uh, state championship game. Mmm. Nice. Next up, we have Alec Washington. Uh, offensive lineman, 6'3", 315 pounds. Going to be an incoming freshman coming from St. Francis Academy. Uh, hometown uh, Prince George. Prince George. Prince, uh, Prince George Academy. County, Maryland. I'm sorry. Prince George's County. That a city? I don't know if that was a city or not, but all right. Let's check them out. Mm, they're in Ohio, okay. Okay. Mm, get them out of there. He had guard. Where he at? He pulling. Mm. Okay. Guess we'll find out where he is. Okay, he was at the second level. Okay. All right. Next up, we have Adrian Littleton, uh, defensive lineman, 6'2", 245, hometown Greenbelt, Maryland. Uh, going to be an incoming freshman coming from St. John's College High School. So, let's get it going. See the scoop and score. Now, St. John's is pretty good. I definitely heard about them a few times before. Definitely a few guys from St. John's that's going to HBCU. So, shout out to them. Hmm. Okay, we'll hawk him down. Mm. Between the double team. Okay, come out of there. Ooh, get out of there. Got him. All right, next up, we have Sharif Andrews. Uh, different alignment, 6'3", 325, hometown Boston, Mass., out of being town uh he's gonna be an incoming freshman coming from st thomas moore uh connecticut i think i had high school in connecticut let's check him out mm. put it put in the line back okay i like it Any on the O line, playing both. I like it. <laughs> Just get him to the ground. I like that. So a little muscle right there. I like it. D line again. Oh, O line again. Hmm. That's a big boy right there. I like it. Hey man, and next up, we have Jaden Coffin. Now, uh, Jaden Coffin is a wide receiver, 6'2", 215 pounds, hometown Bowie, Maryland, and he is a good, I think he's gonna be a red shirt sophomore transfer from Temple University. So let's check him out. Now, in high school, he played both receiver and corner well receiver and safety so let's check them out mm. you might get out of there mm. Mm. nice little jump ball 
the bottom. Mm, got him. Mm, the corner did not have a chance. Did not have a chance. Outside, Psh, they wow that corner is just. Mm -mm. And, and next up we have Keithan Gooden, uh, cornerback, uh, 5'10", 175 pounds, uh, hometown Los Angeles, California, and he is a transfer from Riverside City College in California. So let's check him out. Okay. Nice feet. Good breakup. I like that. Good breakup. At the bottom. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Right here. Mm, yo. Oh, boy. You could have picked it off. Okay. Come on. Stop here. Mm, good D. I like that. Okay. Mm, what a break on it. All right, and next up, we have Todd Smith, quarterback out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, quarterback, 6'2", 190 pounds. Um, he gonna be an incoming freshman coming from Rock Creek High School. Let's check him out. Mm, a nice throw. Okay. Oh, give it to him. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Put back. Mm, nice move. Mm. With the speed to go. With the speed to go. Okay. Now, uh, from what I did, what I did see though, um, he threw for. I have got to say this. He threw for over twenty-four. 100 yards with well, I think 26 touchdown passes and he ran for another 500 yards with seven touchdown rushes so so doing the stats for him a year ago mm, pulls it gone mm, I like it I like it nice throw Ooh, nice throw that's a hell of a throw. That's a hell of a throw. I, I like that. Okay. Mm, you run. He got wheels. Man, next up we have Jason Favard, man. Ooh. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, so DB, 6'3", 185 pounds, um, hometown Atlantic City, New Jersey. And he's going to be an incoming freshman coming from East Coast Prep. Let's check him out. Mm. Mm, get hit. I like that. There you go. He out here playing cornerback at 6'3". At I like it. Ain't no jump ball with him. Mm, easy interception. Oh, that was smart. Smart move. Smart move. No serve. Oh, he, oh, I am about to say, did he catch that? Mmm, nice. Got him. Oh, he got the interception. All right, man, next up we have DeAndre Blagrove, uh, defensive lineman, 6'4", 265, uh, his hometown, Lakeview, New York. Now, I think um, he's a transfer from uh, Space Academy, which I believe, that I think that's a post-grad. So, I think he, he was only there for one year. But, let's check him out. Mm. Okay. So, he, he out here playing running back. Mm. Okay. There, I'll buy There we go. He out here playing defense now. Okay. Mm. He huge. Okay. Number six. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh 
my goodness, yo. Mm. Boy, that's a big boy right there, man. Mm. Hey, he just out here all over the field. Man, next up, we have Justin Dutton. Um, defensive lineman, 6'4", 270, hometown Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, he's gonna be an incoming freshman from from St. Thomas More School, which I think that I think that's in Connecticut, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. So, hmm, okay, but yep, hometown Baltimore nonetheless. Let's check him out. Yeah, I think I heard of St. Thomas More before, but I, I'm not sure. I think I think that's in Oakdale, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though. Check him out. Mm. Okay. No, sir. Give me that. I like it. Okay. Nice hands. Nice use of hands. Mm. I like it. All right. Next up, we have Harrison Anthony. Um. Oh, Offensive lineman, 6'6", 255. Uh, he's going to be an incoming freshman coming from uh, Porter Mac High School, hometown, Temple Hills, Maryland. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Okay, so he on defense. Okay. He's at the bottom. Okay. Nice. See where he at. He's at the top. Okay. Defense again. Okay. And look now, look. In high school, it is definitely okay to play both ways if you a dog like that. Hmm. Drop the interception. He he's at the top. Okay. Defense again. Get by us to tackle. Safety. Got him. He at the top of defense again. Okay. Nice tip. Okay. I, I like it. Nice. Next up, we have Matt Lowe. Tight end. 6'5". 250 pounds. Uh, hometown Hesperia, California. Now, he is a transfer from Fresno State. And uh, Victor Valley college in california and let's see what he got mm. okay oh i thought he stepped out but okay okay we see the blocking okay we see the blocking where you at Five, okay. Mm. Right downfield then. Yup. Get him out of here. Yup. Get him out of here. I like it. I like it. I rock with it. Come on. Mm. Nice. I like it. All right, man. And next up, we have Tyron Woodley. Uh, he is a transfer from from West Virginia. Uh, six feet, 170 pounds. Uh, hometown Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Uh, now he was a three-star recruit out of high school. Then he was the 24th ranked player in the state of Maryland. And of course, he played he played both cornerback and receiver. But I think he's going to um, he's going to Morgan State. As a cornerback, so let's check him out for a little bit. I couldn't find any of his uh of his practice highlights or whatever, so this is gonna have to do. Let's check him out. Mm, interception. Okay. I think, and I think uh this is Saint Francis Academy.
Next up, we have Evan Rolick. Um, offensive lineman, 6'5", 300 pounds, uh, hometown, sorry, British Columbia. Okay. And um, he's going to be an incoming freshman from IMG Academy. So let's check him out. Hmm. So he's from the British Columbia. Okay. Yo, why are a lot of people... She, come on, Miak. Y'all got to do better. Like, th there's just a few schools from the Miak, man, that that really just don't be putting out their stuff like that, and we be having to find... I be having to find this stuff. Nobody want to put it out. It's like, I just did... I just did Howard's joint yesterday, and fam, they had players that I'm like, yo, like, we should have known that y'all were getting. <laughs> From the British Columbia, man. We said known this. Get out of here. And last but not least, we have Trevion Pratt. Wide receiver. 6'1", 195 pounds. He's a transfer from North Carolina Central. So let's check him out, man. So as this video winds down, right? So I figured, man, like, Morgan State, I think, is going to be a, a pretty good team, honestly. You know, and um, Morgan State, you know, Morgan State was definitely on the right path last year. They did some good things last year, especially you know with their uh first year coach. So now, so now the coach is going to be in his second year, you know, and with with. 17 you know with 17 to 18 new guys coming back you know coming on the roster i think morgan state could be a pretty decent team this year you know so we're definitely gonna see what morgan state has to offer i think they had their their uh, spring game last week or i think they're gonna have it this week i'm not sure but shout out to morgan state man i think they're gonna be pretty good this year so shout out to them mm. i like it